We live. Y'all, we just got done dancing. I'm sweaty. Never mind my sweatiness. We've been dancing for like, what, three hours? Yeah, probably really longer than three hours. But we're here with Niara Stanley. Oh, y'all recording? Yes. <laughs> this is Niara. This is our She's other alive. friend who's incognito all the time. But she's a really good dancer too. She just don't be active. Yeah. She's good. Follow I'm her like, channel too. I'm like not natural in front of the camera yet, but. Follow her channel too. Is that your channel? It's Niara Stanley, right? Niara Kennedy. Niara Kennedy. My bad, y'all. Niara Kennedy. <laughs> but I just learned some hip hop. She learned some major red, some major red doll style milk. You know, milk. And we in here man. working, Period. as you can see. Period. Yeah. But mainly, guys, the one thing I wanted to do was since we have the amazing Mel here, uh, and she's doing so well, and she has big things coming up. Thank you. Look out for those big things, y'all. But I wanted to have her here and just like do a little chat because since you're from Chicago, mm -hmm. and you know, you're pretty much self-taught like me and Niara. We're all three, we're pretty much self-taught, but Mel yeah. has like reached a whole nother level. So I wanted to ask her some questions on what it was like being a I'm dancing doll, there. being a profession now, cause that's what you are, honey. This is a dancer. Yeah. Period. Yeah, I really do consider myself a pro professional dancer you because are. being on a HBCU dance team is not easy, y'all. Like it takes a lot of work as y'all can see, but it's actually worth it because I've learned so much and this journey has been definitely eye-opening, humbling, very. Um, but I don't even know where to start. Where do we start? So one thing I wanted to ask you like, Okay, so like an eye opener to everybody else that's not from Chicago. What was it like stepping into like the dancing dog scene, being from Chicago? Because we know how it is. It's not really like a big dancing scene here. There's not a lot of technique. It's just you know what you catch on the street is what you catch on the street. You know, but right. or a competition team. But that's yeah. like studio. Yeah, definitely. I know that there's like a big difference between like the style out here. And we really don't get that major art style where you really got to roll and we dance to bands and nobody really dances to bands out here. Like band people are like lame out here about like in the south, southern Louisiana. They look like, you know, they raw. Like you raw if you in the band and if you like a band head or whatever. But I promise y'all like it's worth it like learning and getting out of your comfort zone and i just fell in love with it and now i'm trying to find my own style of dance so that's going to be my journey next so y'all stay tuned yes yes, yes. Okay. and mel is going to be doing a lot more dancing on her channel yes she is yes i am so y'all stay tuned about that because y'all your girl gonna be working her body you know? Ooh. Uh. Yes. Uh. <laughs> go ahead <Mel. laughs> But yeah, G, like, then you gotta dance more on your channel. Like, of course, like, your makeup tutorials and everything be bomb. Yeah, thank you. And all of that, girl. But, yeah. like, G, your dancing is just it. And then, like, you can sing, too. Like, Yeah, I can. People really don't know that about me. So, actually, I'm going to get out of my comfort zone with singing and music. So, y'all, stay tuned about what's next. Y'all, she's That's gonna, all I have to say. She's going to blow up. Like, it's not just the dancing. Like, Mel is a triple threat. Oh, you're like, so cute. <laughs> dancing, singing, and gorge. Like, gee. And you're sweet. And you're down to earth. Yeah. yeah. Still. Yeah, it's important for, like, people to know that even though, like, you know, you're a professional dancer, like, you're you kind of good or you have a lot of background, that still doesn't make you, like, you know, bigger than somebody else. It's always room to grow. You're never done being, you know, dancing and growing as well as a dancer. So always stay humble and always remain true to yourself. That's the number one thing. So y'all remember that, okay? Yeah, like, straight up, y'all, like, she's not just saying that. Like, Mel, you're really, really nice. And I don't even really like girls like that. Like, females are annoying to me sometimes. Like, I don't know how that and, is. You know, we were worried because, a little backstory. I've known Melody since she was, what, 14? 13? 13. James Hart Palms, girl. 13. 13. I remember when you tried out for James Hart Palms. Probably like, 12, because I was still in James Hart when we tried out. I was 12. No. You had to I know like you for 10 years. I, I was 12 because I always is younger than like, you know. Everybody else. Really? Yeah. So I've known you for 10 years. Yeah, 10 years, y'all. 10 years. How many years have I been out of high school? Five? Yeah. So that, yeah, 10 years. Yeah. Half your life. <sighs> almost. Almost a decade. Well, almost a decade. It is a decade. For real. <laughs> like, because when did you start dancing on palms? Like, 09? Because yeah. that's when I graduated. And y'all, I was the only freshman on varsity. 
that's that was a big accomplishment for me yeah it was that was literally the what got me out of my box i was like wow like if i can make this and i prayed about it and i worked hard for it even in that situ scenario where i came from james hart and i was on the maroon team well not the maroon team i was never on the you were on i was gold. on gold i was on gold for both but gold you know, is varsity yeah gold is varsity and i actually like after let me tell y'all a story pause with one two three okay so look y'all let me tell y'all a story so in James Hart, I always wanted to be a cheerleader, guys. And I was in seventh grade. I always wanted to be a cheerleader. I saw the little um, Bring It On movies, and I wanted to be one of those girls, you know, Gabrielle Union, you know, try to fuck with me. Cut that. Try to mess with me, and you not about to mess with me. But um, yeah, I made the cheerleading team. Well, I didn't make the cheerleading team. I tried out for the cheerleading team, and I did not make it. And it broke my heart. Like, I was like, I thought I had it. I practiced, and I like went in there. I thought I killed it. <laughs> I, I, I gave facials, all that. And I did not make the team so I was like that really beat me up so then came palms tryouts and like in junior high it was like the maroon team is like the junior level and the like the gold team is like the varsity level of the palms team and I made gold so that really like brightened up my spirit so I was on gold team in seventh grade at 18 in, in eighth grade and then when I went to HF in high school I made varsity so that was a big accomplishment and I'll never forget that and I honestly held that on when I went to dog trials as well I was in a complete different environment I was out of my comfort zone completely but you know I just was very focused and I was determined that I was gonna make it so that's what happened pray about it and just work hard and I promise y'all you know y'all gonna have it you mind if I ask a question no, go ahead. because I've seen your transitions how was it like, how did you keep your confidence? Like, you know how we, when we first started um, Palms, <laughs> we were in the back, like automatically yes. before it started, we knew we, we were, were in the back. back. And it's like, it's like very discouraging as a young girl, especially like, you know, you're, you're working very hard to get dance and it's just like, you trying your best and it seems like it's never, you know, working. But honestly, the more you push yourself and the more you like actually dance and put yourself out there, that's the better you get. Honestly, like that's really got what got me out of my comfort zone. I just kept on dancing. I never stopped and I always remain focused and consistent. Consistency is my number one thing when it comes to dance. If like you're when you're dancing, you're using your body. So like you have to get that in your body. Your body has to get used to it and you actually have to dance with your like soul. You have to be passionate about it. I was very passionate. I I, I have a love for dance. I always had a love for for dance so that's what made you know have me pushing through so yeah that was I good it. i hope i answered your question no, you did. Did. and then it's like i mean i kind of said this a little bit off camera a little bit earlier but like i said i've always looked up to both y'all because even though you're younger than me like you've always been like a natural dancer and you are you've always been a natural dancer too like i know you haven't been doing as much as you wanted to recently but you're amazing like we was just doing all these turns and stuff and you still you're amazing <laughs> Y'all, she's crazy. <laughs> this is stupid. No, but bro, I already, t I already told you. I've always told you. You inspire me because maybe it doesn't come as natural, but you just have that determination and that confidence that I wish that I had. Amen. Thanks, guys. Like, yeah. I'm not a natural dancer, but like, like Mel, I'm really passionate about it. Like, you know, I really love it. So. You know, I'm a really big fan of hard work and you get results. Like you, so if you're listening to them, they were on Palms, they were on Varsity. You were doing, you did three years, you did four years, right? So y'all, fun fact about me, I tried out for Varsity every year at HF and I got cut freshman year, sophomore year, and junior year. And I made Varsity finally senior year. Yeah. I was on JV sophomore year and I was so sure that I was going to get on varsity junior year but I got cut mm -hmm. and then junior year that's when we became friends and I started getting cool with you a little bit yeah. and Niara actually trained me a little bit on my skills and that's when I made varsity and that's when we all became friends yeah <laughs> and y'all like if y'all haven't tuned into my channel make sure y'all tune in but at the HBCU dance affair we went just went to Chicago and that's why I'm actually here and it's like looking back well looking at the kids now and how like you know they dance and they really haven't got into that hbcu style it's just like very like i was like dang i used to really dance like that and it's like they can get on my level if they just have that determination and that passion for dance and whoever is looking out there y'all young and y'all really have a passion for dance always keep dancing and never stop dancing keep pushing forward to your dreams and you'll be successful and you'll be happy and make sure you stay positive and always you know go for it don't even think about it you know go for it if it's your passion is what you want to do okay so <laughs> awesome. cool. all right
that's all I really wanted to do. I just wanted to do like a quick little chat mail because like, yeah. you know, you're blowing up and you're doing amazing things and I want to be like you when I grow up. Can we talk <laughs> about if you guys go and check her out? I know you want to um, you want to find your own style, but people still might be finding you, just finding you because yeah. of your clips of um, the dolls. Yes. So make sure you guys go subscribe to my channel. My name is Melody Almay Bird. It's M E L O D Y like a song A L M E B Y R D. And y'all stay tuned to what's coming and go follow me on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram, guys. Period. And if you didn't know what Dancing Dolls is, just know that Beyonce is inspired by them. Period. Beyonce is yeah. inspired by Dancing Dolls, period. My good sis knows. Period. She knows. Coachella. <laughs> period. Be Beachella. Beachella. Yes. Oh, and me. I'm, Beachella. thank you, B. If you, oh, B, if you watching this, <laughs> girl, I love you. We love you. We all love you. I do. And thank you so much for highlighting our HBCU dancers. We really needed that as a black community. Culture. I so respect you, and hopefully one day I will be dancing with you, girl. Call me. I, I stay in Baton Rouge now, but I can go wherever we want to go. Places, <laughs> though, you know? I'll go in. She's going to be in Baton Rouge. I don't know. Are you? Are I you? Know. I'll be in LA. So.